Hi friends, my name is Rohan Vasudev. In the last session, we spoke about UI scroll view in Unity. In this session, we are going to create a scroll view inside Unity with vertical layout group and content size better. So let's create a scroll view here. How do we do that? Just right click here on the UI scene, which is your name of the scene and go to game object, go to UI and select scroll view here. And yes, our scroll view has been created here. Okay, we can just go to the scene mode here and adjust the width and height of the scroll view. Just click on rect tool here and just adjust the width. Inside the canvas scroll view game object created here, scroll view will have image component attached to it by default and a scroll rect attached to it by default. Horizontal and vertical here is in what direction it will scroll. Right now both of them are checked. Then we have a moment type which is kept to elastic. Elastic will basically move the content in all the directions. We don't want to do that. So let's change it to clamped. Okay, and then inside the scroll view, we'll have a viewport here. So let's go to viewport here. So viewport basically again, will have an image component attached to it with a rect transform and a mask attached to it. Now inside the viewport, we'll have a content which will basically have all the scrollable content. Okay, so whatever the scrollable content we need to put here needs to go inside this content component or content game object here. So let's add vertical layout group to the content here. Okay, and let's add content size fitter here. Okay, so for the vertical layout group, we have padding. Okay, padding is basically the space that will be left from left, right, top and bottom. Okay, so let's keep it to five. Five, we can adjust it later also. Okay, then spacing is basically the space between two different elements child elements inside the content game object so let's keep it to five here again the scrollable area basically is not horizontal here so we don't need to change this okay we will have to change vertical fit here to preferred size so that even if you add keep on adding more child elements to it content area basically will resize itself all the elements will fit into it let's start adding images inside this content here but we need to do some changes in the image here we want it to be little stretched okay so let's go to scene here select again rec tool here and adjust it according to the just drag it so let's right click on the image game object here go to ui here again and click on text here So we have added one image here to the scroll view. Let's add more images so that we can see the scrolling effect here. Okay. So let's just press control D and keep on adding the images, copying the images basically. For the scroll bar, horizontal and vertical. In this case, horizontal is going to be disabled because we have used vertical layout group here. Click on scroll bar vertical here and let's just change the width for this. Just make it five. Okay, for horizontal, we need to change the height. So let's keep it to zero. Now let's run the scene and let's see how it looks. So here it is. We have a scrollable view here. As we discussed earlier, image component will be attached to the scroll view game object. Okay, and a source image is set to background here by default. So we can change the color for it. So let's change it to a little darker color or maybe red color or something like that okay depending again it depends on what color you want what color combinations you're using okay 
So here is the scroll view using vertical layout group and a content size fitter. So thank you so much guys. In the next session we'll be talking about or we'll be creating a scroll view using a horizontal layout group and a content size fitter. Thank you so much guys. I will see you in the next session. Thank you so much.